Hey everybody, I don't know whether you know how to do this or not. I apologize if you do know how to do it, but I've been playing around with the phone app for Ancestry DNA, and I've been playing specifically with triangulation to help African American cousins figure out who uh, either came into contact with or perhaps enslaved their ancestors in my family tree. Now, I've got a lot of African American cousins, I think um, over 25. I think that's a lot. I don't know. So anyway, what I'm looking at is I've starred all my favorite matches. And first off, my favorite matches consist of people whose connections help me to figure out um, because their trees are decent or I know their names, um, uh, help me to figure out one particular name path. Like Cindy Toe, for instance, she, um, she attaches to the name Odom. And I know that really well. And Spotted Moore, she attaches to the name Pace. And so that way I can, if I see them in matches with other people, I can automatically know, oh, the match that we share, you know, me and this other person, whoever, if we share Cindy Toe, then absolutely the line that we share is Odom. So you see how that works. So what I do is I go through and I basically ignore white people and I just look at the pictures and I just pick all of the black folks I see who are my cousins. And then I start going through and I, I star the people I know. B.G. Sykes, he is, um, he is a, uh, a Pace cousin and so on and so forth. So um, <clears throat> these people have been really kind of helpful to me. So this was very interesting. I was able to go through uh, for Joliet West 1999. I was able to go through and I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to do a much easier one. But by looking at our matches, first I looked at her, then I looked at the full match, then I compared. And at the bottom of the screen, it said, who do we have in common? Well, that's my mother's brother. So it's definitely on my mom's side. And then I was looking and I was like, yeah, I don't really know who these people are. But Hull, that's huge because the Hull family is an Indiana family on my mom's side. And they started out in colonial era New York and New Jersey. And I have that traced all the way back to when they came over from England. So I looked at him and he luckily had his tree. And I looked at his tree. Okay, this isn't so bad after all. <laughs> I was thinking this one was going to be really bad. But this is how I do it. This is how I do the tri triangulation. So he, I was looking at him and there is a hull and another hull and another hull and another hull. And I just kept going back in his hull tree. And I started to find Ensign Benjamin Hull, Captain Benjamin Hull. And I started to find names that looked familiar. So what I believe is that we are tied through the Hull family and he retains the surname and that uh, Joliet West 1999 is in fact related to me through the Hull family. And because I looked at my tree I know who the uh, male intrusion would have been on her line, a guy named David D. Hull. So he was either philandering or a rapist. I don't really know which. I kind of think he was a rapist, but um, that kind of doesn't surprise me. It also meant that I could mark all of these other people as Hull descendants. Now, in here... There's none of that colored dot thing, you know, where you can mark a family line with a colored dot and then give it the name of the family. But what you can do is when you go back to um, a person, you can tap on the three note, the three dots in the corner, and you can add a note. And so the note I've got is we share a third great grandparent, Daniel D. Hull. So I added that information because we, sh that, we share a lot of DNA, actually. Normally, I share 7 to 10 centimorgans. 
with any African-American cousin. That's actually quite a bit. So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, that right there. Um, and you can figure out how close a cousin you are to somebody by looking at the chart that tells you how many centimorgans means what. And that is available in the Facebook group. So um, basically, I did the same thing with, I think I did this with Velma Harris as well. Let me look at her note. Yes. Yeah. Now, I looked and found that she was a Wisner. Lorenzo Dell Wisner um, went to war for the North, but that doesn't mean he was a good man. And um, his wife died as soon as he got home from war, and so we don't know what he did. But I did the same thing. I did a comparison between her and me in terms of the DNA. There's my dad here, so James Ruan. So that means that it's definitely on dad's side. And I had looked, and I was looking at these various names, and I had already looked through them, a bunch of them. And let's see, I'm trying to move this further. There we go. So PLS4021. I think this is the guy when I looked at his tree. Anyway, I looked at trees and I found the name Weisner. And when you find a name not as common as that, you know, that's just not the most common name in the world, then you have to think. Let me see if there's a Weisner in here. W-E-I-S-N-E-R. There you go. Is the Elkington, okay, that's the descent. So John W. Rubin. Rubin is the brother of Lorenzo Dow. There's Lorenzo Dow. Lorenzo Dow is my direct ancestor. So logic tells me that this is a Wisner descendant. And so I gave him a note. And the note says, Wisner. So now anybody with whom I share a cousin between me and PLS 4021, that person is a Wisner. I can, I can be almost certain of that, right? Because that's the one thing that we know we share, is we share a Wisner. So Velma then must also be a Wisner. So when I contact her, I can tell her, I have information on how we are cousins. And if you would like to know more about that, then I can share that information with you. So if you are white, and you are, and you should be, working with your African-American cousins to help them resolve questions about how they share DNA with you, then this is how you do it. And if you are black, then, and you're looking at and working with white cousins to find out how you are, you share uh, DNA with them, tell them about this. Tell them that they can triangulate, because white folks are going to have a lot more well-treated white cousins who will be able to give information just from what they share in their trees without even being contacted. And that will help them to help you. Now, occasionally, of course, you run into a place where you've got a black cousin, you're a white person, and there are no trees shared. There's absolutely no other cousin. It's just the two of you. And that's really frustrating. But all you can do is check back periodically and see, see if a, there's another person who's triangulated in, or like a third person with whom you could triangulate and hope that you can actually, you know, look and find and, and find something that's, that's useful and helpful. But meantime, this is, I've been so captivated by this. This is one of my favorite things in the world because I'm now finding all kinds of things that are making me really happy and, um, and that are allowing me to work with, look at all of these African-American cousins that I'm going to be able to work with. It's so cool. And then there are these white folks here and there, you know, that have some information that's really helpful. So that's great. So anyway, that's what I've got for you today. And um, a new episode soon, I promise. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.